Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's just hop straight into it, okay? Angel Spirit, guys, ancestors, and nine of the highest white light, give me some messages here for my YouTube collective, please, and thank you. can have a soulmate connection that's coming in here with this lovers or somebody is realizing that you all are soulmates you either getting ready to come into your soulmate that you haven't met yet or you already met this person and you could be getting ready to reconcile with this person or something like that this person is realizing that this is a soul connection You could have a third party um, that's surrounding this connection that may not want it to see this connection come together. But this connection is coming together anyway. You got five of pentacles, the moon and the tower here. So this could have been family and friends here, okay? It's either of your your family and friends or this person's family and friends. But I'm getting your your soulmates or your you know your your twin soul here, family and friends here. Had a lot of secrets with this moon and it's, an, and it's about to be a tower moment here. These people are about to lose out. Okay, major because it's something that they did in secret to keep you all apart here. And I feel like your divine masculine could be finding out that his family and friends are into theft and embezzlement. Something that they did fraudulent with money. They either got paid to do something, okay? Or they got money in a fraudulent way and spent this these funds to do something illegal. But these people are getting ready to lose their home. Whatever kind of money they gain, they're getting ready to lose it here. Okay, so this is definitely surrounding you and your divine uh, counterpart here. Like the people around the connection. All right? Because this is not you and your divine counterpart energy. This is like your person, family, and friends. And I feel like their energy is coming out because... They're in, in, in y'all energy. Like it's something that they did hidden or in secret to try to keep y'all apart. And I really feel like it's dealing with money. They either paid out money to have something done to send out negative energy or, or have something done to you here. Okay. But they was definitely into fraudulent things, theft, embezzlement. And it had something to do with some money. Somebody here, whatever somebody did in secret, they could be sitting here waiting on for something to work. On a courtship, on you and this person. It's showing where you and your person is destined to be married with each other, right? But you got some family and friends here that's sitting here waiting on something that they paid for. So this is like somebody paying for spell work to be done on a, a 
you and this person's connection to keep you all from coming into union, to keep you all from getting married. I feel like these are people here that has definitely abused divination. Okay. They either they they either binge watch tarot readings or they got some type of karmic reader to try to pry into y'all life. And maybe they did see that you all supposed to get married or something like that. And they wanted to try to pay somebody to do spell work on it to try to keep you all apart because they know that you all are destined to be together. And they want to try to switch dips destiny or swap destiny or something like that. But definitely you got family and friends of this person. It's some friends and family of your divine masculine that's paying for spell work. Okay, or they're doing it themselves. They're watching something be done to y'all. And they're watching to see if whatever is happening is finna work because they know that y'all are meant to be together. And, and they know deep down this man's supposed to come to you and marry you. But they're trying to see if this spell work is going to work and keep this and have this man go another direction and, and like ghost you or abandon you or something like that. Yeah, a community is involved as well. It's a karmic masculine here in this community, okay, that may not like what you do for work. It could be a couple, but it's definitely showing me where it's a karmic masculine that do not like what you do for work. And whatever it is you do for work could, could have this person in this community targeting you with this occupation. But this is your life purpose with this journey. And because you are obedient to God and because you're in your life purpose, you all could be like a light worker or something like that. And that's what's bringing in your abundance and your wealth. But you got somebody that don't like what it is that you do. And it's like they're trying to punish you for whatever it is that you're doing, what your life purpose is. So you all could be a psychic, a prophet, or something like that, and you could definitely have a public platform. If you don't have a public platform, these people just pride into your life. Like I said, they could definitely have a karmic reader that pries into the real divine, feminine, divine, masculine lives, and they try to, like, destiny swap. So this is like them trying to literally stop destiny, or they're trying to get a karmic to take the place of the real divine feminine it's, it's something like that y'all this is what's going on like right now with somebody of a, a, a divine masculine's family and friends is trying to have this happen because they don't want you a part of their friends group and they don't want you a part of their family so they are watching something happen behind the scenes with like somebody trying to keep y'all from coming together they everybody is watching to see if this is gonna work or something like that okay. you all got to be like cold at what you do because you got a community and you got this man family and friends that do not like what you do so it gotta be that you're really good at what you do you know what i'm saying for them to um be going this hard you know what i'm saying to keep you and this man apart and whatever it's like they don't want to claim you as a part of their family or they don't want to have to fake it and claim you because they know this divine masculine that you know love you or want to be with you they don't it's like they don't want to have to pretend it's something like that y'all it's 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 crazy or something let's see Okay, it's 
spirit tell me what why is this community and why is these family and friends here so upset with what the divine feminine is doing for work why See, see, you're the a see collective. You could be a spiritual house cleanser. This could be something that you do for work here, y'all. Okay. You either get paid for it or this is just something that you do. And you don't get paid for it. This is just something that you have always been able to do. It's like you bring positive energy to wherever, whatever space you go into. So whatever home you walk into, whoever life you enter, you just bring positive energy to whatever who, whoever's life or whatever space, and you and you remove negative energy through different ways here. So that's a gift that you have, whether you get paid for it or you don't. You're like a spiritual house cleanser. So you remove negative energy from people's lives and you and you bring positive energy, even in homes, through different ways. However it is that you do this here. Okay? That's what you that's what you do. And maybe these people know that. And if these people are negative, you're helping remove negative energy from your person's life and maybe they're the negative energy and people that's being removed and they don't like that you see what i'm saying you be cleansing house but that's just a gift that you have you're able to spot out the negative you're able to read the room literally you're able to read the room if it's negative you have the ability to remove the negative energy in the space or the room and you replace it with positive energy. Like when you come in, you're the light, the dark leave because you shed light on the darkness. Like that's, that's just you, you know what I'm saying? So you have a community, people in a community and whatever that don't like this. Okay. And so they don't want you with this divine masculine here because your divine masculine could be very popular. He could know a lot of people. A lot of people could know him. So if you're attached to him, of course, you're going to tell him whatever it is that you're picking up on. And these people don't want to be exposed. You see what I'm saying? So they feel like it's too risky with you being with somebody this popular and this known. Because they don't want their secrets to be revealed. You know what I'm saying? They don't want nobody to know that they have ne they're the negative energy or their negative person or what they're into basically that's what it all stems boils down to is that you know too much and you will be able to pick up on their negative energy and they don't want this person to know that what they into <laughs> You all also interpret dreams. You all get messages through you through y'all dream state. So y'all, I feel like somebody could have been trying to attack your dream state or your divine masculine dream state, but specifically your dream state here. Okay, y'all, because I see uh the moon with the little star dangling. Okay, so definitely I feel like people try to attack you when you're asleep because you're most vulnerable. Okay, you all could, God could definitely communicate with you a lot through your dream state. Okay, now how these people know it, like I said, these people could have been abusing divination or they were doing something illegal to watch you or something like that. Okay, they had to. And, and these people know that you get uh prophetic dreams but you also interpret your your dream interpreter too like i said this these could be things that you get paid for 
or or these are just things that you can do and you ain't getting paid for it, but you can do it. And you, you have done it for people or something like that. But it's like you you can find deeper meanings here and bring clarity to people and, and give guidance. When people have dreams and they don't understand, they can come to you. And you know exactly what it is that God is trying to tell them or, what, or whatever the dream is. Yeah. So people attack your dream state. So you could have had people doing spell work, y'all, on you heavy at nighttime while you're trying to sleep. Because when you're sleeping, that's when you're the most vulnerable. So that's what they were doing. It's like they were trying to uh, get into your dream state and manipulate whatever it is God is trying to give you or something like that. You all are able to travel to different places and dimensions. And you're able to get information in different dimensions. You can see unseen subjects, objects, and locations. I mean, and you can visit these places with remote viewing. So, y'all, like I said, I don't know how these people know that you're a spiritual house cleaner, a dream interpreter, and you have uh, the gift of re like remote viewing. But these people know that. And it's like they've been trying to do spell work on you to maybe like stop whatever it is that you can do. And that's why they don't want you to be attached to this divine masculine because you, you have the power to see everything that they have done are doing and you got the power to see what they even trying to do it's like these people know it ain't no way around from keeping anything from you and they don't want him to know they don't want your divine masculine to know certain things y'all this is <laughs> You all could have the gift of, like, you all could uh, have the gift of, like, scrying. But I feel like on the good side. Like, I don't feel like God trusts you with whatever it is that you do. That's why God give you messages. Because he trusts you. Because you're not going to do the wrong thing with this knowledge that he give you. You have a whole lot of hidden knowledge. You can access Akashic Records. Right. And God trust you with this information because he know that you're going to do the right thing with it. But I feel like these people, it's like they try to mimic what God gives, gave you naturally, what you was born with. And they try to use, they got like a dark spiritualist or somebody is trying to mimic whatever you do. And, and it's like they're trying to send some type of monitoring spirit to you to get access to whatever it is that you know, and they try to manipulate it so you don't give the right information. That's what they're doing. They're trying to send some type of bad spirit to you to monitor whatever it is that, whatever information that you get from God, and then they try to manipulate it so you don't give it out correctly. So maybe you could seem like you're a liar or you're crazy or something like that. They don't want whatever it is that you get accurately. They want it to be inaccurate. Yeah. So you all can look into some type of reflective surface. You can tune into the messages of spirit and the universe. You all are very powerful beings, very powerful, very gifted, and very connected to God. 
and highly, highly, highly high ranked in the spiritual realm. And these people know it. You all could be into uh, Ayurvedic medicine. You can look that up. It's A-Y-U-R-V-E-D-I-C medicine. Ayurvedic medicine. It helps bring internal purification for balance. So like natural remedies. Like I said, this could be something that you do for work to, to bring in abundance. Or this is something that you just do to help people. Or this, or these could be things that you're called to do. These are things that you, you have the ability to do. And you all could be getting ready to get into this or something like that. But these people, it's like they know what it is that you can do. And they're intimidated by it. So it, you're gifted in so many ways. You got Ayurvedic medicine, scrying, remote viewing, dream interpretation, spiritual house clean, uh, cleanser. You all are, are gifted in so many ways. And these people are jealous and envious of you. They don't like the fact that you're gifted. Maybe these people in the community, y'all, these, these could have been people that's in the community that could have been around you. What could have known of you, but didn't even know that you had these types of gifts. And when they found out that you had these types of gifts, they instantly started hating. And when they found out who your divine masculine is, they wanted to try to hurt you. It's like they was trying to punish you by you having these gifts. When this is something God gave you. God gave you the gift to do all of these things. This is like you being born with a, a disability. And somebody is mad at you because you can't flip it around. Like you can't change it. This is like you being born and not being able to walk. And somebody is being mad at you because you can't get up and walk and get out the chair. This is how these people are treating you with your gifts. They don't like that you have it. And they don't like the fact that uh, God gave it to you and not them. It's like these people are literally trying to... It's like they're trying to mimic you, literally. It's like they're trying to do what you what, what God gave you naturally. But it's not working for them, though. That's the thing. So, not, so they're trying to take it from you. So they're sending something to you to try to confuse how, whatever it is God giving you. They're trying to manipulate it. So they don't. So if you have the 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 gift to see things, they don't want you to see it. They want to take. They want to take it away. They don't want. They don't want you to be able to. Uh, they don't want you to be able to uh, get information. And, and and see unseen objects and be able to go to uh, certain locations and different uh, locations and things like that. They don't want you to be able to interpret dreams or get prophetic dreams. They don't want you to be able to remove negative energy and whatever from a room or from a person's life. They don't want you to be know how to scry. They don't want you to work with natural herbs or healing or medicine and things like that. They don't want you to do none of this. They want to literally have you out here not being able to. Do, it's like they're trying to disconnect you from God because basically that's what they would be trying to do. Because if God give you, gave you these gifts and he communicate with you, the only way they would be able to do that is to disconnect you from God. And that's what they're trying to do because they're so jealous of the fact that you have these gifts and they don't got it. And then you can see everything about them in their life. And you ain't even got to know them like that. They hate it. Baby, they don't want you. They, it's like they're trying to punish you. So they're trying to make a divine masculine turn against you. Or that whatever it is you do, they're trying to make it seem like it's very dark. And they're trying to convince your divine masculine that the gifts that you get from God is dark and demonic. When they're the ones that's dark and demonic. 
because they're doing dark spell work and sending demons to you or something like that. Y'all dark spirits or something to attack you, especially in your dream state when you're asleep. They're even sending things to your divine masculine to manipulate him, his mind, so he won't come towards you to be scared of you or something like that. Because these people don't want the come the good people in the community and they don't want your divine masculine to know the criminal activities and the dark stuff that they into. So they, 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 they targeted you different people, people that these people would, wouldn't even think would be involved in something like this. Ooh, chat. So you all can change, you all have the power to um, identify and raise and direct energy, like with the, with the intention. So I don't know if this is something that you all are into, but I feel like when people are under attack, if that's just like whatever somebody is trying to do to you. Like somebody is doing heavy, heavy spell work on you, right? Dark spell work, like voodoo. I feel like people can come to you to get whatever this is removed off of them. So it could definitely be, y'all, if you all were under heavy attack at one point in your life or even now, God is allowing certain things to hit you so you will know how to remove it from yourself. So people can come to you and get it removed. This is your life purpose to use your gifts to help people. So it's not that God is not protecting you because God is actually protect with the dark stuff. I'm getting people doing to you. You're definitely being protected. It's not hitting you like it would hit somebody else. You see what I'm saying? It's not. You can feel it. You can feel a little bit of the effects of it, but it is not hitting you like that. It is your, your God is only allowing certain things to hit you to be aware and he's wanting you to first, it's like he's wanting certain things to happen to you so you can help other people. This is your life purpose. Okay. This is what you were called to do, to use your spiritual gifts to set people free and help people. So you're going to be able to go in somebody's house and see, feel the negative energy. You're going to be able to remove this from people's homes, from their lives. You're going to be able to help people. Figure out why they constantly having a certain dream. What is God trying to tell them? They don't understand. They don't know. You're going to be able to tell people what's going on in their life. Like, what is it? You're going to be able to go to different dimensions and and, 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 and all kind of things and, and travel and help people. You know what I'm saying? You, you're going to be able to look into things. You're going to be able to heal people. Literally, y'all. This is like the doctor telling somebody that they're diagnosed with something and, and you using something that you have created, some type of herbs or something. You're going to be able to help people. You're going, you're going to be able to bring internal purification and balance into their life, y'all. I'm telling you, you're going to be able to restore these folks' health. If this ain't something you already doing, this is something that you can do, but maybe you ain't into it yet. Or you could be into it. And these people know it because they've been abusing devil nation and prying into your life. And they know that you're very gifted, bro. You hear me? You're going to be able to move dark energy off of people. You're going to be able to tell who sent it and what they're doing. And you're going to be able to remove it and set people free. Okay, you got shamanism. You all, are, you all could be a spiritual teacher and a healer. And you can move between worlds as a messenger to bring wisdom and healing. So you all could be into shamanism. Okay. Y'all, I feel like. It's, it's kind of like. You were chosen in your family to do this like it could be people in your family that that 
could have been scared to do this. Maybe some of your, I feel like some of your fam, some of your family members might have had a fear of being judged, but it's like your ancestors has, have chosen you to do this. You were called to do this. It was no way of, it's kind of like it was no way of you saying, no, I don't want to do it because they chose you to do it. It's like you were put in this situation <laughs> for you to, it's, it's like it's bringing your gifts and everything on out. Because these people in this community is attacking you. So it's like you're showing your power. It's like you're healing yourself. So you can be able to heal others or something like that. Okay, so you can look into these things. You got spiritual house cleanse, cleanser, dream interpreter, remote viewer, scrying, Ayurvedic medicine, spell work. You got shamanism. So you all are going to, with the spell work, y'all, I don't feel like you all are into anything dark. But I feel like you have the gift to remove spell work from people so if somebody doing voodoo on somebody you you're able to know what's being attacked what type of spell they're under what somebody sent them and you're able to remove it however it is you do that that's a gift you have okay <laughs> i had to clear i had to make sure i clarified it okay yeah I, yeah i feel like you're gonna heal people from things if they don't know how to do it themselves, like, oh my God, I feel like I'm under attack. I feel like somebody is affecting my finances. I feel like somebody is trying to affect my twin flame journey or my me and my twin flame union, or they're trying to attack my health and this and that. You're going to be able to remove whatever it is that's been sent to them. Okay. I just had to make sure I clarified that. Okay. But yeah. So these people could know that. And baby, they, 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 it's like they attacked you for it. Okay. Like I said, these could be people you could have went to school with. These could be people that um you went to school with. Okay. These could be people, um, that you worked with these could be people that you dated in the past that's finding out that you're gifted however they find it out but it's going around in a community that you're very gifted and you got people that's into criminal things and people that got that got these dark secrets and stuff like that and it's like they they grouped up together to go against you when you didn't do nothing to them, but they felt felt like you you could expose them or something like that. And they like, bro, I've been around her all this time and, and she had these type of gifts. It's like they instantly got jealous and envious of you. And it's like you different. You're different. These people could be thinking that whatever it is that you do is weird. It's different. You're 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 weird. You're a weirdo or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause like what? But at the same time, they know whatever it is that you do, you the truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Let's see. Let's see what is these people into the reason why they trying to take your spiritual gifts away. You can have these people depressed because these people try so many things and try on so many occasions to steal your gifts away. So they were sending things to you to try to make you forgetful. 
Okay, it could have they could have said things to you to try to make it try to have it like you got Alzheimer's dementia or something like that, y'all. Like you were forgetful or something like that. Like they didn't, it's like you being a dream interpreter, right? Or you getting prophetic dreams. And when you get up, you write them down. Like you you know what God has shown you. But these people are sending something to you in your dream state. So when you get up, you don't remember nothing. It's something like that. But maybe your memory could be coming back or something they're doing could be wearing off. And these people could be depressed about it. Because it's like every time they try to do something, it, it could seem like it's working and then it stops. But I feel like that's only because God wants you to be aware of what they're doing to you. And once you're aware of what they're doing, it doesn't work anymore. And these people are mad at that because they can't. It's like, y'all, I feel like these people hired some real, real dark people. I'm telling you, some really dark spiritualists that could be very, very gifted, like very skilled at this spell work stuff, y'all. I'm telling you, like dark spells sending you dark energy to try to take your God-given gifts away. They wanted you to be very forgetful. Like you don't remember nothing. Like if you get messages, you don't remember nothing or it ain't, it ain't coming in clear. So you don't know what God trying to tell you or warn you about. So these people are depressed because it's not working how they thought it was going to work. And something could be backfiring on these people. Cause it looked like this woman right here in cold sweats, they could be into drugs and everything. But they could be trying to act like they're not stressed out. Like they could be trying to act like they good. Like whatever it is they doing to you is still working like that. Because it could be people watching. trying to, Like it could be people literally watching this dark spiritualist do something to you. And everybody is watching in a community. Seeing if this person really got the power to do something to you. Because these people know that you're very, very protected. And these people know that you're very gifted. So it's like a lot of pressure is on the person that's doing something. It's like they trying to prove a point. Because maybe things did work in the past on other people. But it ain't working on you and this person upset. You got a whole copycat energy. So it's somebody that study you, watch you, trying to be just like you. But they, they do dark, demonic stuff. And they could have tried to make people look at you like you dark and demonic. When it's them, they trying to study you. They trying to do everything just like you. It's somebody that's sitting here watching everything that you do, collective. I'm telling you right now, everything. They want to do it just like you, but they want to discredit you and they want people to look at you like you ain't nothing, like you ain't real or something like that. So people, you could even have somebody that's still in your work. Y'all, if you, if you, if you're another reader, you can have people trying to steal your stuff. Yeah. Spirit said, sorry, it didn't go y'all way, but it was never going to go y'all way. <laughs> it was never going to go these people way. I don't know what they thought. I feel like these people got scared when they found out that you could, you, you, you had these gifts. Because they don't want nobody to know what kind of stuff they involved in. Especially if you a reader. Y'all, some of these people sent so much bad energy to you that somebody here is going to get ready to pass away. And 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 these people could have sent out death magic towards you and your family, and it's going to go back to them. And 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 whoever doing this dark spells that that sent it to you could be could could be passing away or people in their family and friend group. But specifically, they family because that's the energy that they sent out. So it's being returned back to them, y'all. That's what's coming up. 
Like y'all, y'all finna really see some some things finna get ready to go on in the community. That's really bad. Okay, it's every time you watch news, you're gonna be seeing something, and it's gonna be amped up more than usual. It's because it's some people in the community, y'all. I'm telling you that. Y'all, I'm trying to tell you. Y'all, something could go on with a plane. Okay. It could be some type of plane or uh, uh, some type of accident or something like that. Whatever kind of death energy they sent out, whether they sent out something for you to be in a car accident, uh, hospitalized or uh, death in your finances, your children, your fam immediate family, whatever it is that they sent y'all is going back to them. I'm telling you. And this ain't even nothing that you, of your doing. Like God sees everything. And that's just kind of like their karma. That's their fate. I'm telling you, y'all. Somebody, somebody here is finna get ready to pass away for what they did to you in this community. I'm telling you right now that it, it was coming out. And it even says some people in their family. Wow. Yeah. That's what's going on. And it's like they, they can't stop this energy from going back to them. They can't stop that. Whoever this is paid for some dark spells towards you, like real dark stuff that if you were so protected by God, you wouldn't even be here. It's going back. That's why I, that's why I said, I said um, the, the woman on the picture looked like she's so worried, but she don't want nobody to know that she really sweating. Or it's some people here that could have paid for it or start trying to dibble and dabble in themselves. And they don't want to look like they really sweating. They really scared. They are really scared because they trying to figure out what's going what how how it's gonna happen. And they trying, it's like they trying to know how it's gonna happen so they can try to stop it. But they not gonna know. They not gonna know. Just like they tried to blindside you and send death magic your way where you didn't know. It's going to be the same way for them. And when it go back to them, they ain't going to know how. They ain't going to know when. They ain't going to know where or nothing. It's just going to hit them. Boom. But that's these people carnal, though. It is. Because they had no business doing this to you for no reason. These people attacked you. They ganged up against you. And they attacked you for no reason because of your God-given gifts. And these people tried to lie and say that you were demonic and you was doing things when you wasn't, I feel like you were minding your business, doing what you do, and people came messing with you and bullying you and start doing things. Okay, y'all, I'm telling you, it's gonna start. It's it's it's. I'm telling you, it's gonna start going. It's gonna be like a domino effect. Boom, 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 boom. They ain't gonna know what hit them, cause all that bad energy that they sent you and your family is gonna go back. Yeah, these people, if these people were, if your divine masculine knew any of these people, I feel like he going to be disgusted when he find out what these people did to you and how low they went to keep, to keep him away from you. These people could have did something to cause you major anxiety. Like they, they was trying to. I always have you in fight or flight mode, like constantly. So I don't know what spell they could have been doing, what what kind of spell would cause this or whatever. But if you wanted to know, like, if, if your anxiety have been through the roof and, like, real bad, like, uncontrollably, and you like, I don't know what's going on, I, don't, I can't calm down, that's them doing this dark stuff to you. It's like they always have you in fight or flight. 
all day, every day. And and it's and, and and it's nothing that you have. This is this has been sent to you by a dark spiritualist. So they could have been sending this to you and your divine masculine. Yeah. They wanted y'all to always be scared or in fear or something like that, y'all. It's not yours. This is something being projected to you. So you you it's like you can you could go to somebody and try to it's like you could go to a, a counselor or whatever. But because it's being projected onto you by spell work. Even if you was to take something, it still would not go away because this is a spell somebody sent you. Somebody is sending this to y'all. So if y'all feel like nothing is working and whatever, that is why. And spirit is wanting me to tell y'all what's going on with y'all. Because some of y'all been having really bad anxiety and you trying to figure out why nothing is working. Why are you always so scared and fearful and all of that? Uh, why you having insomnia? Why you can't sleep and... Why are you so strict? Because these people are sending that bad energy to you. It's a spell that they're sending you. Okay? It's not yours. It's not you. So, y'all pray and ask God to remove whatever this is. Okay? Uh, read your Bible. Read the book of Psalms. I will tell you all to read the book of Psalms. I'm talking about from beginning to end. Read it and ask God to remove whatever it is somebody could be sending you. Okay. And ask God to amp up your protection and whatever, you know, against dark spells or whatever, you know. But if, if a lot of stuff been constantly going on, it, it could be because God is trying to let you know that somebody is projecting this onto you and it's not your, it's not your energy. It's something that somebody is sending you. And, and maybe you all are thinking, oh, well, maybe it's just life. Like, no, it's not life. It's, it's somebody that got some type of secret vendetta with you and they're sending you dark energy. And if you came across this reading, God is wanting you to be aware of what's going on with you. It's not your energy. You, you, not, you ain't that anxious. It's not you. It's something somebody is doing in a community that's sending you this, okay? And you're going to have to pray it up off of you. You're going to have to ask God to remove whatever this is from you and, 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 and show you why these people are doing this to you. Because God will show you he will show you why. He will show you what is being sent to you and everything. Ask, ask God to um, ask him to show you what's your energy versus what's being projected to you. And show you in plain sight so you will know. You know what I'm saying? This just like you all of a sudden having back pain or knee pain. You ain't never heard it or nothing, and all of a sudden it's hurting. That could be God's way of telling you somebody could be doing voodoo on you. You see what I'm saying? And you and you could be thinking, oh, well, maybe it's that mattress. Maybe I need to get me a different mattress. Like, no, baby, it's not that. It's somebody sending something to you, and God is trying to make you aware of what they're doing to you. Okay? Like, that is what's going on, y'all. This is what's surrounding you and your divine masculine's union you got people trying to attack you divine feminine and they're trying to uh attack your divine masculine because your divine masculine could have gifts and not even know it but i feel like they could have been trying to keep your person from awakening because they didn't want him to come into they didn't want him to come into his gifts uh, and his power because he would have the ability to pick up on their negative energy just like you so they wanted to have him a very low vibration they didn't want him to heal or nothing. So they could have wanted him to be toxic, very low vibrational and everything because they didn't want him to see the truth like you. They didn't want this person to know. Okay. So they could have been definitely doing that. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, look, divine stepped in. You got divine intervention. Okay. Y'all, these people had did so much to the point where God had to step in because these people had started doing way, way too much. I'm telling you. That's why I told you I seen that 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 death card. God is stepping in. He like enough is enough. I'm telling you right now. God said enough is enough and god is stepping in y'all i'm telling you, these people not gonna be able to do this no more i'm telling you it's finna get ready to end god's done stepped in he done stepped in y'all i'm telling you what i know they did too much he said no nah, this now nah, y'all uh-uh mm -mm. so he intervening god has intervened i'm telling you so you 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 finna see some stuff go on in the community. I'm telling you, the 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 crime rate finna escalate. Cause I'm telling you, whoever was involved, y'all, all this bad energy is going back to them. And you ain't gotta do nothing. You ain't gotta do nothing. I'm telling you, cause God seen everything. He seen everything. He heard everything. Your person is going through the dark night right now. So your per your per yeah. And see, these third parties, these karmic individuals that could know your person and whatever, did not want this person to go through this dark night of the soul. They did not want him to face his shadow side because why? They didn't want your person to heal because they did not want this man to see what they were doing. They didn't want him to be able to pick up what they were doing, but he finna to. This man finna face, do some shadow work and he finna go through the dark night of the soul. Now, that part ain't gonna be easy for your person facing his shadow side, but it's imperative for him to heal so he can see what these people are doing around him. Because your person was asleep. He was around these karmic people and didn't even know what they were doing to him, to you, or other innocent people. Yeah, your person, I'm telling you, God stepped in, y'all, because these people started doing way too much so you and your divine it's like y'all about to defeat a community i'm telling you it's like you it's like you only could do so much by yourself or something like that so god is finna awaken your person because he finna he your person is finna see everything that you seeing Let's see what else I want to get. What else I want to get? Yeah, I feel like at one point your person let you go or walked away from you. And your person could be regretting that here, walking away from you here. Okay. and But now he can't take being away from you any longer. So I feel like it was it, it, it was like he hurt himself by letting you go. Y'all, and I honestly feel like this person letting you go. What's these dark spells that these people were sending? Because they did not want y'all together. They didn't. I feel like whatever kind of fears your person had or insecurities he had, they sent spells to him to amplify it. So if he had a fear of commitment, his fear of getting his heart broken, fear of getting lied and cheated on, they amplified it and they made it to where he didn't want, want it. It's, it's, they couldn't make this man not love you and care about you, but they amped his fears up to where 
he didn't want to commit to you. That's how they got him away from you. So he did let you go at one point. But I feel like as your person heal and awaken, he's starting to see through things, like through the illusions. And your person can't take being away from you any longer. It's kind of like, I love her. I got feelings for her. But why am I running away from her? Your person wasn't even, he, he didn't even know why he was running away from you. Because I feel like you you came closer than anybody to this man's heart space after he got heartbroken. So it's like, why am I so scared? That was the stuff people do. People were sending him. But he can't take being away from you any longer. It's like he ready to be with you now. He ain't scared no more. You know what I'm saying? And God could be could could you know be giving him clarity on what's been going on, even with his energy being his free will being tampered with. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Child, your person is addicted to you, Chad. <laughs> Okay, he is. These people knew it too, or they know it. So they wanted to cause a separation with y'all. You know what I'm saying? And they also sent some type of lustful energy to your person. They wanted him overly lustful because it says chasing thrills. So it's like they they wanted they would rather see your person in this low vibrational energy, like sleeping around with different women, than to be committed to you. And your person didn't even know this was something being sent to him. It wasn't that bad. Now, your person, you know, could could have had, like, his options open or something like that. But, y'all, it's like they they all, almost like they had it like he had an addiction. Like he couldn't resist, you know, sexual situations. They That's the energy they sent him. Okay? And they, they wanted to create blockages in this connection but your, it's like your person is waking up to like what's been going on yeah i'm telling you with that realization your person is having a realization look epiphanies understanding awakening and then look he creating boundaries it says join the line it's enough i'm telling you he found out about the trickery the deception and the dishonesty uh with the third parties these these uh uh, y'all he can also be finding out that uh people were sending things to him to cause him to have arguments tension and stress and turbulence in his life yeah causing his uh emotions to be messed up and blocked because y'all was supposed to bend together y'all these people was 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 sending some dark energy to you and this man and and he and and God is giving this man clarity on what's been going on with the people around him and in this community, y'all. I'm telling you. They attacked y'all. They did that. They did that. See what other thing I want to get. <clears throat> yeah, you and your person communicate through music. So y'all got a strong telepathy. I feel like these people were trying to intervene in that too. They didn't want you to know. It's like they didn't want y'all to know uh what was real like what messages y'all was really giving each other but they i feel like they didn't have the power to really intervene in in that yeah Mm 
And yep, that's it, y'all. Okay, nothing else is coming out, so I'm going to leave it right there. Just know that you and, your, and this Divine Masculine are meant to be together. Okay? And these people, they did, baby. When I tell you, they tried everything and they power to try to defeat you, to take away your gifts so you wouldn't see the dark stuff that was going on in the community. Okay? They tried to, their best to turn your divine masculine into a karmic because they wanted to recruit him on the dark side to go against you, to attack you and stuff like that because they wanted you to feel isolated, rejected, abandoned. They didn't want you to have love in your life, specifically this person, because he could be very popular or, or, or know a lot of people. Okay, so they definitely tried their best to send things y'all away to break y'all up and have him walk away from you. Okay, to like hurt you and whatever. It's like they really wanted this man to like be on their side to attack you and go against you. Okay, but it's not happening because God is showing this person what's really going on here. And when God show you something, it's nothing nobody can say and do to change whatever it is that God has 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 has, has shown you. You see what I'm saying? It's like once God show you something, can't nobody come in and, and, and alter that. And that's what's going on. That's why that divine intervention is there. Because God is like, look, enough is enough. Okay. Yeah. And whatever spells was being sent to y'all, it's being removed. Because I feel like now y'all are aware of what's going on. So it's like now that y'all are aware, it, it's not going to affect y'all like that ever again. Okay. But um, just know y'all are protected. You and this masculine are going to be together. But your person had to go through an awakening. He had his, his third eye had to be open. Okay, but that is all I have for you all. I hope that this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. God love you. And I do too.